family, this is my first <laughs> get ready with me video in a long time. It may be my second ever in the four years I've been doing YouTube videos. So we're going to talk about some serious things in here. You know what I mean? Some food for thought for sure. So if you're interested in seeing how I get this look and some of the things that I am proposing that we do as black women and men, stay tuned. So I usually you put my makeup on with my hands. I am going to start with my NARS primer. I've never used it before, so we'll see. I hope it is everything in a bag of chips because that's what the lady at Sephora said to me. It also has SPF 30 or 35, I can't remember. And it's supposed to have some kind of a glow with it. So <laughs> we'll see. My other primer that I had before was, I think it may have been Too Faced, but I don't remember. And I ran out of that. I like that a whole lot. I got a lot of compliments about my makeup when I used that one. But it's finished. So I was thinking about the wig industry, guys. And I was starting to feel some kind of way. We black brown skinned women are probably the ones that buy the most wigs. I haven't done a whole lot of research, but I do know that I've seen from time to time studies that have come out saying, you know, we buy the most wigs. Who do we buy these wigs from? Mostly Asians, no? Why? That's my question. Why? Why aren't we the ones to actually make the wigs. I know even the bigger companies, RPG, Show, whatever, whatever, um, all those fancy names. Guys, my eyes are so bad I can't see very well. I'm hoping this makeup is not looking botched. I really am hoping it's not looking botched because I can't see well. And it's a terrible thing. My eyes are going bad really fast. So these, you know, agents have these sweatshops paying people a dollar, if you're lucky, a dollar fifty a day to mass produce these wigs in different conditions or whatnot and then they send it out to whoever it is that's buying it and then they, you know, I guess they finish it or they do whatever it is and brand it for themselves, right? I. I'm wondering where we are as black people or brown skinned people in that chain. Shouldn't we be the one having the factories to make these wigs and employ our own people? So I thought about that, you know, and then I'm thinking to myself, would I want to work, <laughs> work in a sweatshop? making wigs because I've seen the videos and my answer to you is hell no I, I don't mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to I honestly don't want to do that with that being said though our money is going to these people I'm looking a lot more rosier than I wanted to look I don't know I'm just not feeling this I don't know, the primer didn't do what I wanted it to do, or has my skin color changed because of the summertime? Something isn't right for me. Something is just not right for me today. But anyway, but my eyes also can't see too well, so. <laughs> I absolutely love this, what is it called? Black Up Blush. Black Up. Yeah, and that's the color, guys. I absolutely love the color. I, I can't seem to use any other color ever since I found this one. 
because I think it brings out the orange undertones of my skin color and I love that. Add a little bit of sun-kissed moments here. I wouldn't want to work in, in those kinds of sweatshops and in those kinds of conditions. I really just wouldn't. And I think therein lies a problem. You know what I mean? How many hair product stores of all the ones that you've been to in your lifetime were owned by black people? Serious. How many? In proportion to how many are owned by Asians. It may be just the state that I'm in or the country that I'm in, I don't know. But here in the US of A, I am just curious. Because for me, most places that I've been to owned by the Asians. And so my daughters and I were talking about it. In knowing this, where it seems like when it comes to these beauty supply stores, it's an Asian takeover situation. How easy would it be for somebody like me to break into that industry? Because I feel like they've already made their alliances, you know what I mean? And their partnerships, and they all speak the language and this and that. Can I just drop in there and make the same kind of connections and have the same kind of loyalty to me when I am trying to get into an industry where it is flooded by Asians? Would I be welcome? <laughs> Would I be? I feel like I doubt it. I really don't think they'll be like, oh yeah, you're black, come on over. But what do you guys think? Can we and should we? <laughs> Am I speaking to somebody here? Speaking to somebody who wants to start a business. I don't think you can fail in the black hair product industry. Black women love their hair, we do. As I've seen some people say, or write in, you know, on social media, our hair is our identity. I don't think so, however. I feel like our character is our identity. I really feel like as black women, we are so phenomenal when it comes to strength and wisdom and, well, most of us, I should say, <laughs> most of us, because I do see some of those brown skinned women fighting over men and I look at the men that they are fighting over and I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> anyway. So, is it something that we should try to do, like to get into that in hair industry and take our own? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I've also seen, I'm trying to put some shiny thingy here. I don't know what this is called, but it's a shiny powder. You know what I mean? But I've also seen in several times when I go to a store, hair product store, that I am followed like a criminal. I am. And oh, what did I do wrong? This makeup is just botched for me today. It's just not the day for it. I don't know, understand. I don't understand. As I enter these beauty supply stores and they look at me like I am about to leave the store with the store. Like I'm about to grab everything in that store. You know what I mean? And go with it. <laughs> and I'm looking at them like, 
you I don't want to say you need to worship the ground I walk on, but I'm saying I'm giving you business and you're making it out to seem like I'm coming to steal. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I feel like we need to take it over. We need to. I say black woman. If I own a store and you, another black woman, comes to my store and steals, I'll probably shoot you. I'm not joking. Let's not play. Let's not play those kinds of games. We're supposed to support one another. You can come steal from me. Come on now. Oh my gosh. Sometimes we're just rogue. I think this is a little bit better. The other one looks so ashy. It looked like <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> wash my face when I woke up. Okay, Moxie Lash. So you guys have already probably seen this on, you know, different social media. I did a video of it before to show you guys and I didn't, I don't know why I didn't post it. So I'm using it again today. So it's supposed to be magnetic and the eye, um, what do you call it? The eyeliner, which I already put one there. Is magnetic but let me tell you about this last time I didn't put it enough so the eyelash didn't stick until I had put a lot however when I put a lot it took forever to dry so that was annoying and because I have hooded eyes while it was drying and I was you know doing my stuff it transferred to here you know to the area where I had my eyeshadow and taking it off was a beast so I tried to cover it with my eyeshadow I reapplied eyeshadow there and it is so dense that you could still see it through my eyeshadow. So that's something I was gonna say in my review for sure. Be very careful when you're applying it, right? So it's on now. I'm hoping I didn't put too much and I'm gonna try not to let it transfer this time. Okay, so I will be back. So the Moxie Lash Eyeliner is dry. I am going to let's see if I can make this further out. I am going to apply the Moxie Lash and we're going to see what that looks like. So this, I'm using the Worthy Lash, which looks like that. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Which one goes where? All right. I'm going to try and use this thing, which I usually don't. Okay, let me just use my hand. And it feels like it's sticking. Definitely sticking. But let's see. It's weird. It's very weird. See, last time I put too much, this time it seems like I didn't put enough, even though it seemed to me like as I was putting it, I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be too much. But okay, I'm gonna work from the outer corner in. This is really weird. Ah, see, I transferred some out there in that corner. The outer corner seems okay. 
inner corner finally okay but the damage is done I definitely need to transfer some and it's not sticking the way it should you really need to put enough of that eyeliner you really 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 do okay so I'm gonna have to use makeup to cover up did I put it away because that looks terrible see if I can cover up this there we go Ugh, should not have to be that difficult all right let's try the other side usually one side is easier than the other <laughs> Let's see. I hope you guys can see in the camera properly because, oh, this was the easier side, well then. Ooh, I think it's still, still sticky. Still, see it? And I waited quite a while. I turned the camera off so it wouldn't be wasting hard drive space, but. Dude, this one isn't sticking as well as I thought. Hold on. Anyway, guys, this is Moxie Lash for you as you probably guessed the way they do it on social media to show you that's not people who are doing it for the first time <laughs> definitely not I do like the lash style for sure um, worthy is what these are called anyway this is the end of my chit chat video make sure that you if you haven't subscribed that you subscribe because the next video is a wig review a brand new wig that I got and I want to share with you my first short afro like really short afro wig not really 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 short but the shortest afro wig that I've gotten <laughs> it's a curly one um, so I'm going to show it to you guys and I'm going to see you in the next video but don't forget if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe because listen we need to hang out some more okay we need to hang out some more definitely tell me what you think about these earrings i absolutely love them and i 100 believe it okay see you later